Magister Merlin? Magister Merlin? Are you all right? Magister Merlin, you don't look well. Did you have a nightmare? Ah, your old problem has reared its head again. I'm Dolly. We've been living together in the mystical house for a while now. I hope you remember that you're the great mage who has inherited the title of Merlin. However, you lost most of your powers somehow. Your memories are fragmented, and you often forget things. I woke you up because there's a fire on the other side of the river. It's getting serious. All the villagers will be in danger if we don't put out that fire. Chippy was worried and ran over there already. As you're familiar, Chippy wanted to protect your beloved village, so he rushed out to put out the fire. But the fire is getting out of hand. Will Chippy be all right? Do you want to go and see for yourself, Magister Merlin? I understand. Just take care of yourself. You've been in seclusion all these years. No one knows you're here. If you just go out like this, it might stir up some trouble. You know, you're probably the most famous mage in Asperia. Before going out, why don't you use some magic and change your appearance? Fires under control. Do not retreat. Over. All forces, attack! I wouldn't have recognized you if it weren't for Chippy tagging along. How about you dispel your disguise so I can see my old friend again? Ah, oh, General, the Magister's condition, you see? He's forgotten you again. It's okay, Chippy. No matter how many times he forgets, I'm happy to reintroduce myself to him. I am Hogan the former leader of the Heroic Order of the Lightbearer Empire, and the current Magistrate of Hollistone. We've been friends for decades, 
and our friendship will never fade, no matter how muddled your memory gets. But this is no time for small talk. Look at these fire elementals. They don't belong in Ryan. How could they just appear out of nowhere? Then our most pressing concern is to put out the fire. Please, give me a hand. Let's put these fires out together. My beauty sleep. This will cost you extra. Valen, you're just getting here now? Were you deep in your cups again? That's not fair. I ran into a bunch of fire elementals on the way here. Those guys were really annoying. Anyway, looks pretty grim here. I didn't expect the fire to be this big. This is not normal, General. That's right. We think it's arson. The culprit is like a mage. Whoa, a talking hamster? You're a familiar, aren't you? In that case, this gentleman with the general must be a mage. I gotta say, picking a hamster as your familiar is rather... unique. I'd normally overlook your band of Valen, but in front of this magister, you'd better watch your words. It's rare to command such respect from the general. Well, magister? I am Valen, of the Heroic Order. How would you like me to address you? Hmm, an interesting name. I will remember it. Forgive my rudeness earlier. I'll be sure to make it up to you once this fire has been dealt with. interested in who started the fire than in putting it out. I saw you casting a spell with my own eyes! It's not that easy to quench a greedy fire, my dear. I'm just trying to help. The Scarlet Sorceress is as beautiful as her fire is dangerous. That's what the rumors say. Dangerous? You're quite right. 
If this were my fire, you'd all be ashes by now. <laughs> so she's the Scarlet Sorceress. Chippy's heard of her. You're... Hmm? Magister, if Chippy is not mistaken, it seems like the Scarlet Sorceress is staring at you. What do we do, Magister? She's staring really hard. Never mind. You made me think of someone. The divination was right. This night was awful. I shouldn't have gone out. I'd appreciate not being disturbed any further. I'm leaving. You're not going anywhere, Scarlet Sorceress. All my wares are gone. I demand compensation. Don't push your luck, young man. I'm not known for my patience. Don't you dare try to get away with this! I'll make sure you're held responsible! Shh. Quiet. Something's not right. The wind. It's suddenly so loud. You awake? How are you feeling? If I hadn't seen you pass out just now, I'd probably believe you. You passed out for a while. General Hogan and his men put out the fire. Then he returned to Hollistone. He ordered me to stay here and look after you. Before he left, the General told me to make sure that when you woke up, your memory was alright. What a strange request. Do you often forget things? Also, how much do you remember of what just happened? The Scarlet Sorceress, Muriel. You're a Magister, so perhaps you've heard of her. She was identified as the culprit by young Master Rowan. That kid with the huge bag and the duck on his head? He's Rowan, the second son of the wealthiest man in the Empire, and head of the Mithril Consortium. General Hogan took the two of them back to Hollistone for questioning. Muriel's attitude towards you was unusual. When you passed out, she was the first to get to you. Did you know her from before? That's rather odd. Magister? Yes! You're awake! Chippy checked all around and didn't see any elemental beings. The village is safe now! Mr. Valen told you that General Hogan already left for Hollistone, right? The General will wait for us in the village, so we should go meet him in Hollistone. He seemed to have something to say to you. There might be enemies on the road. I'll go with you. Although, you might not need my protection. Of course! The magic! 
Webster is the mer... <coughs> the merriest mage that everyone loves. Anyway, since you're feeling better, Magister, should we set off? However, before leaving for Hollistone, we should probably return to the mystical house first. Dolly must be worried sick. Need a hand, friend? Recovering. Chippy, what's with you? Why so pessimistic? That's not like you. Oh, you're right. The Magister is the greatest mage in all of Asperia. Everything will be fine. That's what I like to hear. Magister Merlin, you seem to be in quite a bit of trouble. Shall we find someone to lend you a helping hand? Leave it to me. I know a few people. By my life and honor, I shall protect you. Took you a while. I've been waiting out here in the cold all day. They say it's always autumn in Ryham, but right now, it's more like winter. It's said that Merlin's ward has long protected Ryham. It's the only reason that people can actually live here. But recently, Ryham's been getting colder. It's almost snowed the past few days. We've come with the Magistar to investigate this changing weather. My apologies, Miss Hamster. I never got your name. Yes, we should be introduced. You are Valen. I am Hammy. Are all your familiars hamsters? Nope. Chippy told me that General Hogan ordered you to protect the Magister. You must know that serving the Magister is an honor, but it's not easy. I'll be observing you. I hope you'll become a competent retainer. Apologies again, but I have to correct you. I'm a knight not someone's retainer. Protecting him is just my current task. It's not a lifelong post. Unless your Magister is someone like the Great Merlin, then I may consider it. Did I hear that right? Well, the Magister, he is Mer- Ouch! Why didn't you just step on my foot, Hammy? Oh, sorry. Chippy likes to spout nonsense. 
Don't mind him, Mr. Valen. Once you spend some time together, you'll realize that although the Magister isn't Merlin, he is just as powerful. You'll see that he is practically the same as Merlin, except for the different appearance and name. Okay, I'll just wait and see. We should get going. I really want to get to Hollistone as soon as possible. I need a hot drink to help me warm up. Dura above. I really hope the General doesn't give me another assignment. The general has asked me to... A little progress is better than no progress, right? your service you're not even worth getting up for witness the power of the forest I expect it.
Well, victory is deserved. You seem to have pulled yourself together. I was really worried when you passed out. So, how are you getting along with Vader? I hope he hasn't offended you already. Really? That guy's usually a handful. That's not fair, General. These two little hamsters are watching my every move. I didn't slack off at all. Wow. Considering you helped us fight all the way here, I'll score your performance on the Magister's behalf. 80 out of 100! Keep up the good work, Mr. Valen! Yes, of course. Thanks for your encouragement, Hammy. Let me say this again, Valen. He was sent by me specifically to look into the changing weather. To ensure success, you must spare no effort in assisting him. Furthermore, you must ensure his safety. I totally understand, General. Ah, <sighs> Valen is my most trusted knight, both in strength and in character. His only shortcoming is probably his big mouth. Anyway, please teach this young man a thing or two during your time together. You can be as strict as you need to be. Stop teasing me, General. We should get down to business. The fire at Ryham was clearly arson. Yes, the young master of the Mithril Consortium identified the culprit as the Scarlet Sorceress. Rowan believes that she was the one who summoned those fire elementals. The Scarlet Sorceress, however, denies it all. I questioned the Scarlet Sorceress before you arrived. I asked her what her reasons were for coming to Ryham, but she didn't say a word. What about you? Do you think the Scarlet Sorceress is the culprit? As it happens, the Scarlet Sorceress did say something. Just one thing. But it made me think. She said that you'd exonerate her. She seemed convinced that you would find the real culprit of the fire. You and her. I don't mean to pry. Uh, but is she an acquaintance of yours? True, you have lost your memory. Some things you might not be able to recall. Don't worry, we'll get to the bottom of all of this in our investigation. Oh, right. Uh, this is your first time in Hollister, isn't it? Before troubling yourself with the investigation, you might as well take a tour around the village. I suspect you'll like it here. <laughs> Go, have a look around, then come find me. I'll be waiting for you here.
more brilliantly. Good morning. Stand and fight together. What are you hunting? Leave it to me. on the battlefield. Listen to the song. Ah, new branches. Needs a little pick me up. Silence. It's time to show you my moves. Well, victory is deserved.
who know will have none. <laughs> what wrong with a good sneak attack? As long as I'm safe. I heard the wheat fields in Northville will soon be acquired by Lord Franz. It won't be long before Northville is growing those expensive grapes, just like Southville. What? Wasn't the village chief of Ryam opposed to growing grapes? Did he back down in the end? He had no choice. You've seen how rich the people in Southville have gotten these past couple years. It's all because of the grapes. Everyone in Northville was green with envy. Who doesn't want to be rich? The old chief couldn't hold back the sea of change. Dura above. If there are grapes to the south and grapes to the north, Ryham should just change his name to Grapeville. for considering my lady. However, she said that if she needed anything, she would instruct us on what to do, rather than trouble you. Well, she does not need to be so polite. The lady has come a long way, and it is my duty to be hospitable to guests. Should she have time today, might I be fortunate enough to meet her? I have prepared a rare gift for her. Lord Franz, sir, I'm afraid my lady is terribly busy today and really cannot see you. Please, return another day. Lord Franz does not seem to be in a great mood today, I see. I heard General Hogan mention that a noblewoman lives in this house and that she has come from the capital. And where did this bottom feeder come from? Talking about me behind my back. Be gone! <laughs> and nice to meet you, Lord Franz. 
you're different from what I imagined. I heard you were so rich and swanky that even the fountain on your estate was made of gold. I imagined you'd look like a fine gold bar. Impertinent scoundrel! No wonder your mouth emits such dross when base wretches like you grow up eating only filth. <laughs> fine, fine. I might well be a base wretch, but that can't be said of him. What do you think, Magister? Oh no. You look like you're barely half-trained. Don't call yourself a Magister when you only know a few spells. <laughs> I wager you never attended the Serene Lyceum. Am I right? Hmm. The Magister didn't really study that much there. See? I thought as much. Peasants like you don't belong in a place like that. You've misunderstood, Lord Cocky Highbutt. The Magister didn't study at the Lyceum because he was teaching there. Yes! You journaled about that part of your life, and you allowed me to read those entries. What a bunch of tedious liars! Enough! I have an important client to meet and can spare no time to argue with the likes of you. Furthermore, I hate rodents, particularly when they scurry around my property. You best not let me catch you around Ryham. That region falls under my jurisdiction. He certainly wasn't humble. He's essentially saying that Ryham belongs to him. However, it doesn't look like he was exaggerating. Lord France does control most of Ryham, especially the southern part. You look a bit lost. Allow me to explain. Ryham is built along the Tranquil River, which divides the region in half, north and south. Two years ago, Southville heated Lord France and dug up its wheat fields to plant grapes instead. They made a lot of money, and nowadays many villagers regard him as the symbol and source of their wealth. They say it's a new grape variety, Gemvine. In all of Asperia, it only grows in Ryham, and is so rare that it can't be bought anywhere else on the market. To expand production, Lord Franz has lobbied the Northville villagers to swap from growing wheat to gemvine grapes. Is this the mage's intuition then? Southville is not that far, so we could go have a look around. But we should probably talk with General Hogan before we go. He's waiting for us near the plaza. Mary, I'm so glad you're safe. I heard about the fire last night. I was so worried. Eddie, I saw everything. When the fire broke out, there was a mage in the village. She was standing in my wheat field. She waved her hand and just vanished, after which the field just burst into flames. What? Are you saying you saw the culprit? Mary, take a deep breath and see if you can remember what she looked like. She had red hair down to her mid-back. She was also wearing a hat with a long feather in it and a black dress with gold stripes. We need to tell this to the heroic order. Magister, listening to that description, it seems like the culprit has to be Muriel. She has red hair and wears a hat and a dress. Do you remember what the Scarlet Sorceress looks like? I think she was different from the woman's description. That's right! Muriel has even longer hair! It's like a red carpet! This is an important piece of information. Before the fire, mages other than Muriel may have been in the village. 
We need to tell this to General Hogan immediately. You look serious. Uh, what happened? Well, Ryham should never have been divided. Now the citizens on both sides of the river are constantly bickering. I have to point out that this situation started after Lord Franz arrived in Ryham. I heard that Lord Franz has always wanted to grow grapes in Northville uh, to increase production. What? This is the first I've heard of that. In short, the intel suggests that the culprit is probably someone other than the Scarlet Sorceress. But she's still a suspect. And who knows if the other red-headed mage is her accomplice. We'll have to keep investigating. Huh. We haven't even solved the issue of the changing weather. But here comes more problems. This case is related to magic, which Valen does not excel at. I'm going to ask you for your help. Are you willing to aid us? I'll let her know that you said that. Thanks for your help. Have you figured out what your next move is? We ought to look around Southville. Before identifying the culprit, we should learn more about the grape variety known as Gemvine. We bumped into Lord Franz just now, and he wasn't particularly friendly. What if, hypothetically, my sword falls out of its scabbard, completely by accident, mind you, and skewers his foot? You'd protect me, right? Please keep an eye on him. I'm afraid he's going to get into trouble. Then it's all up to you. May Jura above watch over you. You'll need my spear. Come out, my sword, and fight for me! I expected. It's time to show you my moves. I expect.
first techniques. Optimal training. The general has asked me to protect you. Not a little progress is better than no progress. You desire an audience. And what do you offer? Being a noble is always the Hey, you all right? Be more careful. The medicine's more potent, so... Both techniques and tactics are indispensable. Optimal tra Phew. Huh? <sighs> the star sparked forever more brilliantly. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Just as I expected. It's time to show you my moves. Just as I expected. It's time to show you my moves. Well, victory is deserved. Just as I expected. Well, victory is deserved. It's time to show you my moves.
Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved. What a coincidence, Master Rowan. Fancy meeting you here. I saw you in Northville. The guy from the Heroic Order and the Mage. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Rowan of the Mithril Consortium. We didn't get a chance for introductions earlier. Thanks for helping with the Wind Elemental. Otherwise, it wouldn't just be my goods that were lost, but my life. Northville's rich in wheat. That's where Ryham got its name. I went out of my way to Northville to buy three carts of the best wheat, but it all got burned by the Scarlet Sorceress. My whole business venture has been upended. And now this bridge is causing me trouble. I'm trying to figure out what to do next. I heard that Southville's Gemvine grapes are worth their weight in gold, so I wanted to check them out. But the bridge is up, and no one can get across. It looks like someone deliberately sabotaged the mechanism. The lever's broken. Could be bandits who did this, or it could be someone else. Anyway, how much do you know about machinery? Seems like the all-knowing Magister has finally met his match. I know a little. The Mithril Consortium handles loads of machinery orders, but we don't currently have any spare parts. To replace the broken lever, we need a wooden stick of a specific hardness and durability. We'll also need a lubricant. Oh, in an emergency, I know that the juice of glowfly fruit can be used as a lubricant. All right! Grucklins often hoard glowfly fruit near the camp. Glowfly fruit has that sweet and sour flavor. So good when you can find it. 
Grucklins! Yes! The long sticks they carry could be used as a lever. We'd be killing two birds with one stone. There's nothing to negotiate. I need to cross the bridge, too. And there's no way I can deal with those Gruglins by myself. So let's work together to collect the materials. Then I'll repair the mechanism and everyone's happy. What do you think? There's no time to waste. Quick! Let's go find a Gruglins club and some ripe glowfly fruit. Well, victory is deserved. No wonder you're General Hogan's friend. You both can hold it down in a fight. If you weren't in the fight, both the villagers here and my salary would have suffered. Who knows? Maybe I would have run away. Or, perhaps, I would have shielded you until I fell. <laughs> I'm just joking. Let's go. We have things to do. Desire an audience. Being a noble is always being on top. The general has asked me to protect you. Not that you need it. A little progress is better than no progress, right? Both techniques and tactics. Hey, you all right? Be more careful. The medicine's more potent, so the prize. You desire an audience. And what do you offer? 
Being a noble is always being on top. Phew. Huh? Still got the flexibility, eh? Experience. Honed on the battlefield. Brooklyn camps everywhere. Seems like the harvest may not be safe, even without the Scarlet Sorceress. Oh, you're not from around here, so perhaps you haven't heard the local legend. It's said that the great Magister Merlin blessed this place, or protected it or something. I don't really understand magic. So, you're here buying goods because of a legend? Relying on these legends or stories is actually an effective marketing strategy. But, that's not why I was there. I just wanted to get some information on regions near Hollowstone and see if I could open up a new trade route. The soil in Ryham is particularly fertile. Its crops, flour, and bread are well known throughout the Lightbearer Empire. But later, I found out that the change in weather had reduced Northville's wheat yields. Difficult transportation in the region meant that Ryham wheat has become a luxury that only nobles can afford. So, I wondered if I could expand the market and increase sales. However... That's right! That blasted Scarlet Sorceress! Calm yourself, Master Rowan. Better than losing your life to bandits. That makes sense, I guess. No need to look so glum. What are a few shipments of wheat compared to the massive fortune you have? I still remember when the heroic order came to clean things up, and you had the consortium send over wagons of swords as a thank you gift. That was completely different, Mr. Valen. The gift to the heroic order was to express my gratitude and cement our relationship. However small or great the value, it was totally reasonable. That's right. Kindness, friendship, and favors are all well and good. But business is another matter entirely. Even the smallest loss must be precisely recorded and analyzed. Speaking of which, the acquisition process in Northville was more unpleasant than expected. Most were friendly. Though, a few of them needed an attitude adjustment. There are no laws against price gouging, but it was less about selling goods and more like driving customers away. It was the same when the first fire broke out. A few of them just stood by the side of the road, and they didn't even try to help, like it wasn't even their village. Strange indeed. The people of Northville are very united and care greatly for their fields and homes. They wouldn't be indifferent to anything that happens in the village. Never mind. Our priority is to gather materials right now. Everything else can wait until we're across the bridge.
Great! Now we can get across to Southville. Why do you look unhappy, Rowan? Well, it's because of the bridge. It was all too easy to stop traffic between the two places. All you have to do is break the lever. I was able to repair it this time, but it'll be a problem for caravans in the future. Yes, a bridge that can be rendered uncrossable so easily, as well as an unsafe business environment. I need to reevaluate my business venture. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved. Well, Victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved.
Both techniques and tactics are indispensable. Optimal training. Well, victory is deserved. A mage wearing a hat, with a family through the sewer grates. A tattered robe he never washes, but he's always eating grapes. Ding, 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 this ain't so swell. His lordship beat him, made him yell. With everything that's been happening recently, can't you just be good and stay in the village? No! Malcolm said the lake's frozen over. I have to go see it. You may not care, Grandpa, but I've never seen a frozen lake. 
You don't understand anything. That just means it's cold. And what's so good about that? Those Northville folks refuse to listen to Lord Francis' advice. And even Merlin's magic can't protect them anymore. I forbid you from going to Northville. Baskets of gem vine are the wrong weight. Oh, I told you, Lord Franz is personally coming to inspect the village. I won't be able to protect you if he finds that people are secretly eating and hiding the produce. What? Lord Franz is coming himself? Who are you? Don't go asking what shouldn't be asked. Wait a minute. You're not Lord Franz's spy, are you? Yeah, uh, Lord Fran's spies wouldn't just be wandering around the village doing nothing. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. The general has asked me to protect you. Not that you need it. A little progress. You desire an audience. And what do you offer? Being a noble is always... Hey, you all right? Be more careful. The medicines... Phew. Huh? Still got the flexibility.
Well, victory is deserved. You got the flexibility, eh?
Just as I expected. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved. A bit of luck. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved.
Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my son, and fight for me! It's time to show you my moves! Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my son, and fight for me! It's time to show you my moves! Well, victory is deserved. Time to show you my moves!
Well, victory is deserved. You're here! I hope there's no trouble on the road. I'm looking into the bandits around here. Did you encounter any on your way? I chased them all the way and thought they all retreated. Some of them must have slipped by me. Well, here's the odd thing. The Heroic Order received several reports a week from Northville, mostly about bandits or gruglins. The villagers are miserable. By comparison, the area around Southville isn't that much better than Northville, if not worse. But the Heroic Order never got any of their reports. Isn't that strange? Around here, Gruglins are more aggressive, and bandits are more numerous. But no one reports anything. Either the Gruglins and bandits are so bad that they wiped out all of Southville's villagers and left no witnesses, or... Southville follows Lord Franz's orders. They dug up their wheat fields and planted grapes instead. Now their lives are peaceful. What a coincidence. The nobility all have their secrets, but Lord Franz's secrets seem just a bit more interesting. Sorry to interrupt, Mr. Balin, but can we go talk somewhere else? You do smell the horrible stench coming from the cave, don't you? Yes, I do, Miss Hammy. So, but wait. You don't mean that you want to go in there, do you? That cave smells so bad, it would knock out a gang of Gruglins. My dear Miss Hammy, I'm afraid you are right again. Everything points to this cave as the source of the stench and the whereabouts of the bandits. I've come this far already. I need to see it through. Sometimes it's better to rip off the bandits quickly. Come on, let's hold our noses and march right in. Okay. If Chippy and Valen are both going inside, then so can I. There's nothing I can't endure for the Magister. Let's go. of our cocky friend, Lord Franz. Correct. These are money bags that Lord Franz and his estates used to settle their accounts. What are they doing here? Did the bandits rob Lord Franz? Are all of these stolen? No. If any of his gold was stolen, Lord Franz would be knocking on the doors of the Heroic Order and asking Valen and the other knight to catch these bandits. I think I've got it. The bandits didn't steal the money. Lord Franz must be paying them to leave Southville alone. No way! If that's true, then the bandits are being paid by Lord Franz! Wait! You don't think he ordered the attack on Northville? That's gotta be it! He ordered the bandits to leave Southville alone and attack Northville because they weren't giving in to his demands. That's why we seldom receive reports from Southville. However, this is all still speculation. It's a big cave. Let's keep looking for more clues. moves 
just as I expected. from over there. Hmm. Even though they smell like they haven't been washed for a decade, some of the masks have very fine patterns and feel quite well made. Yes, it's a shame some of them are damaged, or they'd have fetched a good price. Don't be so surprised. Some collectors or researchers like these kinds of things. But you won't get much for damaged ones. But I've got a strange feeling. You know that those bandits like to bully the weak, but they wouldn't have provoked the Gruglins for no reason. They're no pushovers, after all. Although it's hard to communicate with the Gruglins, there are loads of them, and each one is as strong as an ox. But look at these masks. They can't all be hand-wrapped gifts from the Gruglins, right? Mr. Valen, didn't you say that, despite so many Gruglin camps nearby, there were very few reported attacks in Southville? Could Lord France have paid the bandits to deal with the local Gruglins and keep Southville undisturbed? That's it, Miss Hammy. That's the only possible explanation. Hiring mercenaries requires a contract, but by hiring bandits, Lord France could deny all accountability and even accuse them of stealing his property. That's actually ingenious. If that's really what he was up to, I might have to change my opinion of him. Well, victory is deserved.
Well, victory is deserved. Both techniques and tactics are Coincidence running into you here, Rowan. How's your business venture going? Not great. The Southville villagers won't talk to an outsider about the Gemvine grapes. I've got to think of something else. When I was looking around, I discovered that the Gruglins and Bandits are no fewer than in Northville. It's strange that Southville still managed to ensure their harvest, even when surrounded by so many enemies. It might stink in there, but it's not dangerous. Lord France and the bandits may have colluded, but our discoveries have not amounted to any conclusive evidence. I see. No wonder the steward of Lord France's manor assured me of everything. He guaranteed that if I were to acquire gemvine grapes from Lord France, the trade route would be undeterred by incidents, such as the bridge malfunctioning or miraculous fires. Speaking of which, you all probably know that the wheat yields in Northville have declined due to the cold weather. However, grapes tolerate the cold even worse than wheat. So surely the Gemvine grapes would be affected. I asked Lord Franz's steward about it, but he just told me not to worry, because there would soon be enough fertile land for a better harvest. Perhaps? Lord Franz started the fire in order to purchase the wheat fields in Northville at a cheaper price. I see. Do you know why I wanted to come explore this cave? Actually, the Heroic Order did receive a report from Southville a long time ago. A villager mysteriously disappeared. Everyone assumed he'd been killed by wolves or gruglets. But our investigation showed that he happened to be the one person who was most opposed to Lord Franz planting grapes in Southville. After he disappeared, Lord Franz's grape venture developed quickly. He made a lot of money, and gradually all opposition in the village vanished. As far as I'm concerned, Lord Franz had something to do with the fire in Northville. We still need to find definitive proof. About that. I've arranged to meet Lord Franz later near the vineyard in Southfield to discuss our future business venture. As I said before, I just want to open up new trade routes and acquire profitable goods. That's all. So with us, it can't be a negotiation or even altruism, but... Yes, a mutually beneficial cooperation.
And this beautiful field is the work of Archmage Merlin. He once cast a protective spell here, so our crops thrived. So this place is under Merlin's protection? Cold, dark, empty. This place doesn't feel right. This can't be Merlin's magic. And you are? I'm Cassidy, a simple mage. Help! Someone help me! These Grooblins are crazy! Potions for sale! Buy four, get one free! Well, victory is deserved. Oh, thank goodness. If you hadn't saved me, I'd already be digesting in their bellies. Let me introduce myself. My name is Larson. Hang on, Larson. Are you saying they were about to eat you? Absolutely. They were even sharpening their knives. Kroglins are carnivores. Their diet only consists of herbivores smaller than themselves. You clearly only fit one of their criteria, Lorsen. Hmm, there has to be a reason for their abnormal behavior. How about we show some concern for the innocent little rabbit here? After such a long journey, I haven't even had a drink. Hang on, look at all the grapes here. A few of these would do. Hold it right there! Mm, mm. Oh, they're so sweet! These are amazing! Oh, something's not right! My stomach! It hurts! Oh, it's bad! Help me! Is he still alive? Oh, well, you tell me. Is this poor bunny gonna live? He's in fair condition, but most likely some type of poison. Initial symptom was fainting. His complexion is presently rosy. Such a quick reaction. Are you sure it's not fake? Unconfirmed. Could be related to your constitution. This requires further study. We need to investigate this more closely. Please, sir, could you give us a bunch as a research specimen? Not a chance. Lord Franz, why don't you eat a bunch right here and prove it's okay? Ridiculous. I'm under no obligation to prove anything to you. Lord Franz, I swear it's just for research. Once we have the results, I'll make a special mention of you in my thesis. Someone, get these gibbering lunatics out of my sight! Potions for sale! Buy four, get one free! Show 
you my moves. Try to escape. Strange. Something's not right. Ah, young Master Rowan. I'm sorry for letting these louts disturb you. I'll make them pay. I'm not talking about them. I think these people from Southville, I've seen them somewhere before. How could that be? Oh, I'm sure you're just a little confused because you were scared. Well, you uncivilized rabble, you will pay for this. Everyone, please come here. Abra, Kadabra. We've arrived. How are you all? F fine. Just dizzy and. Uh... Are you saying you've seen worse? Actually, teleportation magic isn't my strong suit. It needs precise positioning, but I don't really know my way around here, so sometimes there may be small errors. Um, if I may be so bold, these small errors you mentioned don't include death or decapitation, do they? Oh, nothing that serious. I've repeatedly verified that at most a limb or an internal organ may be lost, but it's all easily fixed if promptly dealt with. Please, tell us about this sort of thing in advance next time. Hopefully there won't be a next time. Magister, I bet you know just the thing to treat the side effects of teleportation magic, don't you? There are lots of herbs nearby. They can be made into medicine that can make everyone feel better. Just leave the others to me, Magister. I'll keep an eye on them while you go gather the herbs. Inventory, equipment, deliveries. The general has asked me to protect them. Inventory, shipment, deliveries. Am I missing anything? You desire an audience. And what do you offer? I'm reason. But even so, my head does feel a lot clearer. Miss Arte above, I think I can actually make it back to the Dark Forest. This is the first time I've ever encountered this kind of potion. You truly are amazing, Magister. There are so many formulas, recipes, and spells to learn out here in the world. I knew it was the right decision to leave the Lyceum and follow in the footsteps of the Great Merlin. You're following in Merlin's footsteps, you say? <gasps> Miss Cassidy, did you by any chance come to Ryhev just to study Merlin's ward? That is correct, Hammy. I've been researching Merlin's spells and methods for some time now. 
I heard that Merlin once created a ward so powerful that he was able to make Ryham, which was once barren, into a bountiful haven for its people. I came here with the express purpose of locating and studying this magical ward. His magic can only be described as a work of art. Every spell is meticulous, seamless, and perfect in every way. Yes, yes, yes! I totally agree! Really? I'm so glad to meet a familiar with such discerning taste, Hammy. You as well, Magister. As a scholarly maid yourself, surely you must understand my enthusiasm. I see. I suppose there are those who refuse to acknowledge the greatness of Merlin. Mages who are indifferent to his extraordinary achievements. <laughs> I simply have nothing to say to them. Oh, apologies. Did I come off as too excited just now? It's just that Merlin has always been my guiding star since I started studying magic. A mentor whom I've never met. In any case, I'm certain that my understanding of magic will reach even greater heights once I get the chance to analyze his ward. However, there's something strange about the magic in the land surrounding Southville. Something really discomforting. Merlin's magic usually feels so warm and pure. It's nothing like the magic in these parts. Which is why I've decided to head north and investigate. It was nice meeting you all today. I must be leaving now, but I hope we will meet again someday. Should we also go north and look around? We were all in a hurry earlier because of the fire. We might have missed something. Wait, everyone! Wait for me! I just remembered something. I recognize some of those thugs that Lord Franz hired. On the day of the fire, they claimed to be Northville villagers. They refused to do business with me and even gloated when the fire broke out. Are you planning to go back to Northville and investigate? Please bring me along! I want to get to the bottom of this too. The Gruglins are even more erratic than usual. Could these graves be the reason? What kind of grapes can send these creatures into such a frenzy? the change in weather caused the Southville grape yields to plummet, so Lord Franz wanted to seize land in Northville. I've tried those grapes, and they're really not very good. Who would buy them? From my understanding, most of these grapes are purchased by the Adamant Syndicate. Adamant Syndicate, yes. I heard about them in the capital, a merchant guild that grew quite powerful recently. Yes, the Adamant Syndicate is a famous merchant guild in Asperia. They've been looking to surpass us and establish a monopoly. In the past, the Mithril Consortium hardly took notice of them. But now, they're almost on even footing with us. It pains me to say it, but I must admit that they are extremely talented when it comes to doing business. I, however, have no interest in these grapes, as only the nobility can afford them. I only care about the wheat production in Northville. When the wheat is ground into flour and baked into bread, its deliciousness has the potential to reach every single home in Asperia. 
But with the weather growing colder by the day, there's no telling what will become of rye ham. It's possible that this year's harvest, however poor, was the final gift these lands had to offer. No way! We're gonna put a stop to this crazy weather and bring the warmth back to rye ham. That's right! And we'll start by finding the real culprit. Chippy won't forgive anyone who burns down the fields that Magister Merlin worked so hard to protect. You two are awfully spirited today. We heard what the furballs had to say. What do you think? Though I suppose anyone would be upset after seeing the destruction of something they once protected. Relax. Forget I said anything. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my son, and fight for me!
You desire an audience. And what? Your pup? Who else needs a little pick-me-up? Yes, as you command. Now, what seems to be the problem? Come on, you'll need my spear. Well, victory is deserved.
Well, victory is deserved. Battlefield screams, who else needs a little pick-me-up? <sighs> a battlefield more merciless than the frigid winter. Is this what victory feels like? 